let's take a look at rounding. So in break-even calculations, the rounding sometimes trips up students because it's done in a funny way um, in certain cases. So let's take a look at it um, by way of an example. So we've got a company that sells bicycles. The fixed costs amount to 2000 per month. The selling price per unit is 125 and the variable cost per unit is 90. So let's first calculate the break-even point or the break-even units. How many bicycles do we need to sell in order to break even? So the formula is fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. We can quickly cal con calculate contribution per unit. So that's our selling price of 125 less our variable cost of 90. So our contribution would be 35 per unit. So in our break-even calculation, 2,000 divided by a contribution of 35 equates to 57.14. So the question now is, how do we round the answer? Or do we leave it at 57.14? Now we can't sell 0.14 of a bicycle. Uh, no one's going to buy that portion of a bicycle. We need to sell whole bicycles. Now, in normal, in, uh, usually in mathematics, we round to the nearest whole number. So if it's less than 0.5, we'll round down. So what happens if we round down to 57? So we can calculate the profit for 57 bicycles. So 57 bicycles, each contributing 35, will give us a contribution of 1995 less the fixed cost of 2000 will equate to a loss of five so we're not breaking even and even though it's a small loss if we keep on making a, a, pro, a loss of five the business is going to grow or go back bankrupt it's not going to grow so we can't keep on making a loss so we need to round up to 58 and at 50, 58 bicycles per month our contribution at 35 per bicycle will be 2030 so we'll make a profit so we deduct our fixed costs so we make a profit of 30. so even though it's not a zero profit it's a positive profit so our break-even point is 58 bicycles so Whenever we are dealing with products that cannot be split into smaller portions or can't be sold in fractions, we always round up to the nearest whole unit. Now, some uh, questions uh, might deal with products like liquids, fuel, oil, chemicals, um, or it might be something that could be sold in smaller fractions like um, grain or sand. Then we, we might leave it with the decimal so 57.14 could be the break even if we can sell meaningfully um, a fraction of the product but most questions that you'll see will deal with units of production or a product a whole product and in that case you always round up even if it is a very small decimal so even 57.05 will still round up to 58 units